And maybe this day I'll actually remember to take a picture. I, at this point, I'm not sure what I'm doing with the previous one. I might go back and, like, get a screenshot after recording this section, but yeah. Anyway, this one I, I kind of imagine being sort of a cleanup episode. Like, picking up the crap that I didn't get back yesterday, and, um, just exploring more of the areas that I have access to. I should be able to get to most of the level at this point. Still pisses me off that I have all these reds here when, like, that's the color I don't need. Oh well. No, that is not what I told you to do. Alright, um, I just grab 30 of each. Ah, screw it, I'll just get them all. <laughs> Alright, so... I know of a couple fruit that I can grab. One of them should be... Yeah, just, like, right here. So, you do that. Um, there's some bombs if I need them. This way, there is actually an electric fence. I can break that down. I think this is where the, uh, orange bell the orange bell orb was, so... Yeah, let's see what's behind here. Actually, I think I know what's behind here, and um, not sure if I want to take care of it yet, necessarily. I'll at least confirm for sure that it is what I'm thinking it is. But, uh, let me scout out this area a bit. Hold on. Let me stay back there. Yeah, yeah, I know what this is. Okay. So, let me leave you guys here. Uh, yeah, it's this guy. So, let's see, we have explanation for it, okay. So yeah, this is uh, actually not the first iteration of this boss that I fought in Pikmin 3 when I played through this game the first time. Um, I, f I found the one in the snow level first. And this one is much more emo than that one is, but I just, I love the freaking shaggy hair they have. It's kind of ridiculous looking. Now, where's that, uh, bomb pile? I just saw one, like, a second ago. It was not this way. Hold on. Where the hell was it? It was, like, right by the ship, wasn't it? Okay, yeah, it's right here. I'm gonna go get those bombs, because there's a wall that needs to be broken down. Um... So I'll have him do that. Because this is, uh, basically the, the long legs kind of walks over the wall between these two sections. It takes forever to fight. It's a pain in the ass, but it's, it's not really hard. It's just time consuming. I just don't want to be bothered with it right now. I might if I, uh, hold on. It's like, I want to fight the freaking Wallywogs here, but... I've got, like, too many things going on. Okay. Let me take just these. You get out of the way. Not what I wanted to do. Okay. I just want to get rid of the enemies. Is that going to be a project? That was successful. Into the water, go. Surprisingly, none of them went in it. Uh, Aristocrab, where are you? You're my main concern here. Because you're a freaking asshole. Come on. Alright, whatever. Get out. There he is. As long as you don't come near me, I'm fine. I'm gonna have to get rid of you eventually, but you're kind of in the water. I think you can lure it onto land. Anyway, let me just get rid of this wall while I'm thinking about it. Have I got bombs? Only two? And it's better than nothing, I suppose. Uh, where 
push this thing. I like, I do not know the layout of this level at all. Um, okay. It's like even knowing where the characters are, I just, I can't figure out where to go. Okay, let's uncover this. Don't think there's anything else in this area I need to worry about. Thank you. Uh, what do we have here? Oh, okay, this is the other... Yeah. I'll just kind of leave him there. If he starts taking damage, I'll know why. Uh, which way do you take this, actually? Okay, that way should be clear. Let me double check. Uh, they're gonna probably... Yeah, unless the... Uh, unless the crab starts harassing them, they should be good. And I don't think it will. Because it usually stays in the water. So. I have no reason to take my entire squadron over here, but I want another bomb. So. You do that. For the moment. Meanwhile, you blow up this wall. And let me make sure they don't get stopped on. I think it's heading back to the other side now. And now I've got two more bombs that I don't need. I'll find something to use them on, I guess. Okay, I just want to make sure you're far away from the explosion. Okay, that's one shortcut taken care of. I guess I might as well go after that boss. Um, I can't really see any reason not to. I'm looking at the map here. There is a star fruit. Um like, kind of hovering above an area I've walked across a few times, and I know you have to use yellows to get it, but I think there's more to it than that, so I haven't really tried yet. Um, but, anyway, let me go ahead and deposit everything but the rocks, because they can't be squashed. I don't know why I put away the rocks also. I'm just dumb that way, I guess. Wait, wh what? The hell happened there? It, like, stopped taking them. That was weird. Uh, I don't see the bombs being very helpful, so I'll ignore those. Anyways... Go ahead and divide up the group, like half and half. You pretty much just want to keep pestering this thing on each side that it goes to. And hopefully I'll like get it done before the day is over. So you head over here. Actually, that's where the thing is. Um, I'll just walk over there. See if I remember how to fight this thing. And I've got nectar, which is always good. Yeah, you pretty much just wanna. You have to do this and have them, like, attack this fuzzy crap on its joints. And then they can keep going up further, and then they uh, start to take out the hair from the top. Because if you've played the other Pikmin games, you know how to fight the long leg enemies. You just. You throw them at the body, avoid the feed. Like, it's pretty much exactly what you'd expect. But uh, because this one has the hair, you can't hit it like that. You have to just, um... Like, you have to have them get rid of the hair, and the only way to do that is to have them attack it from the top. Anyway, I'm going to abandon my squad here. Um, get some nectar. Nectar is good. Okay. 
And now, at this point, I can switch over to this side. Find the one that they attacked. Which is... Oh, for God's sake. I wanted them to only go up the one leg, because that one's already clear, so they don't have to... They, like, they don't have to clear off the other ones, but they just kind of decided to not do that. Unless they do have to attack all of them. I didn't think they did. It's been a long time, though. Well, maybe don't sit in the frickin' corner and get stopped then. Like, what the hell, dude? I don't like fighting these. <laughs> I think there's only two of them in the game. At least I hope that's the case. Okay, there we go. I don't know what they did, but it worked. So now I should be able to just attack the body. Get down. Get down. Okay. Uh, can they actually... Can you get out of the fire, please? They're not actually attacking the fire. It looked like they were. What are they doing? They're just kind of like running amok. I guess they're hurting it. It just. I don't know. This is weird looking. Yeah, there they go. Let's get away from the fire jets. Man, I'm gonna have to, like, analyze this area so carefully once this thing's dead to make sure that there's no Pikmin laying around, because they're getting thrown everywhere. I'm sorry, if this was a really boring day, but, um, hold on, let me actually... Will you get out of the way? Come on. I gotta get the picture before it dies. There we go. Can we get another one that's more photogenic? Okay, get one that's like... Get your text out of the way. <laughs> okay, that's good. I'll choose one of those. They're both fine. And looking at my dead Pikmin on the ground. Okay, can we finish this thing off? I don't have that much time left. Fucking... Please just kill it already. Like, my god. It's almost there, come on. Ugh. There we go. All that, we just get a kiwi. Wasn't even anything big. Okay. Do we have everybody? It's kind of hard to tell, but I think we do. Because it was at 10 on each piece, so that accounts for the 20. Um, hold on. There's apparently some Pikmin just kind of hanging out. That concerns me. Um, no, map looks clear. I think we're good. Can I grab the frogs? That's what I need to know. Okay, so yeah, they're safe at the ship. They're not going to be coming back because there's nothing else to collect here, so they know better. I can at least get one of these. <laughs> Not much, but hey, it's something. Not gonna worry about the bosberries. Now that I think about it, I probably should have used the spicy spray when fighting that thing. It would have made it go a lot faster. Does this take more than seven? Yeah, it does. 
Come on, you can make it. I don't know if they can actually make it. No, they can, okay. Come on. And spew out seeds? No. Okay. Will the seeds be there next time? That's the question. It doesn't look like they will be. Oh well. So I guess that was the spend eight days fighting the freaking shaggy long legs day. Had to be done eventually, I suppose. about lemon kiwi. I'm trying to imagine what that would be like, and I still don't know what this thing is. I'm calling it a nectarine, but I don't know, like, isn't a nectarine basically the same as an orange? This looks different from that. Could be an apricot, though. I don't really know what they look like. I know they're similar to peaches. Lemon kiwi, jo Joyce. drink this hot pink crap that we found under the bus seat. Oh, okay, so they did get more rocks at the- I guess they just went straight into the onion. That's cool. Always good to get a- always good to get a population boost, even if it's just a small one. Each more delicious than the last, except not really. Yeah, it's like... I don't think you'd want to just eat a lemon. And I guess that's pretty much it. Um, this is not the final video of the month. Uh, there is going to be another one posted tomorrow, which is the final Voyager Time segment. Um... But, because this is the last, like, big video of the month, I guess we'll call it, I'm gonna be doing the credit roll after this, so, there you go. And, um, just stating this now, even though it's kind of irrelevant to Pikmin, um, once Voyager is finished, uh, starting next week, uh, we will start uploading the Wind Waker stream. It will actually have minor edits in it, so it will not be completely worthless, but it's just, it's bonus videos. Who said the extremely famous line, a shark on whiskey is mighty risky, a shark on beer is a beer engineer.
The answer is Dr. Worm. Who's Dr. Worm? Nobody. 